Okay, guys, this is Mr. Shiny Ghost. Welcome back to Let's Play Crisis Core. In the last part, we finished up the Wu Tai Spy sort of side quest and some missions, finished up that, so now we can move on with plot. So let's go do that. Anyway, let's head to the slump streets. That's also why I didn't mind ending off last part here, because this was actually the closest save to where we probably wouldn't trigger a scene yet. So anyway, we want to head to the left, because we want to head to Aerith's, ch Aerith's, Aerith's Church. I'm, I'm, I, I'm probably not going to be able to say Aer Aerith's name for like this whole part. It's just not rolling off the tongue. Aerith. Aerith. Aerith's Church. There we go. It's, it's harder, harder than I thought it would be to say. Although it's still probably better than if it was Eris's. Yeah, actually, that it seemed like it went off better. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Scene Dad, time. I need you in Modelheim. I know. Just give me a minute. I gotta go Aerith, say hi to Aerith. How'd you know? And how is it you know Aerith? It's exactly. Really? Uh. Did she tell you anything? Not a thing. Then I won't either. Way to just be mysterious, son. I thought we were good friends at this point, man. See, you even brought a chopper to pick me up, though. Hmm. Well, whatever, I guess. Whatever. And then there's a white wing. Or, not a white wing, a white feather. Jeez. Get it, get it right, man. Get it right. Is it just me, or did that sound like the plane crashed? Or a helicopter? We're in a helicopter. Song, I thought you said you knew how to land this thing. Last I checked, the burning copter was not a way to land it. Uh, well, that's a fine how do you do? Anyway, we're we're on our way to Modeoheim. Song. Complete hey with a free crash landing. These Modeoheims really know how to how to how to welcome us. No Feel free to fly here. Modeoheim Air anytime. Free plane crashes. As an extra bonus for any ticket you well, buy. At least we're all in one piece. We'll be alright. Thankfully, we have someone used to this kind of terrain. Yeah, yeah, I'm a country boy. All right, then. We would have reached Modeoheim by now if we hadn't crashed. Well, Song, so we're going to need to make I wasn't the one flying the plane. All right, follow me, then. So let's, let's go and do that. Oh, save point. Well, let's just keep going, uh... I'm just doing my stick to walls thing. Cause you know that's how well, that's what I'm like. And anyway, we wanna just keep following the path at this point. Activating combat mode. Oh, we'll just show off this battle. It'll be quick, it'll take a second. Replicons. Taste my health on Daga. Anyway. Let's keep let's keep moving on. Okay, that was more replicons. So let's let's try to avoid battles now, Zach. They're annoying me. And they haven't even done anything. They're also very easy, that's probably why it's also annoying me a bit. It's like duh, health and naga, health and naga. Aha, we're getting a scene now. You don't fall too far behind. At least someone Song, he's up. slow. Well, I'm a right guy. Too. From where? I like this music. How about you? Me? Gun Gaga. Gun Gaga. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, what's uh, so funny about that? You know Gungaga? No, but it's such a backwater name. Ditto Nibelheim. Like you've been there. I haven't. But there's a reactor there, right? A Mako reactor outside Midgar usually means nothing, nothing else out there. <laughs> <laughs> Good news, Song! Me and... We haven't got his name yet. But it's Cloud. Me and Cloud here are both backwater experts. Oh yeah. He's also an ether dealer. Cause you know, hey, Good. I just met then. you, and this is crazy, but I deal ethers, so call me maybe. And with that, we we're, we're gonna get Cloud added to the DMW. The last one in height of motions affect the DMW. Yep, and we meet Cloud. Awesome! <laughs> I've never tried that before, but the map is just mapless. That's it's beautiful. I'm sorry, okay. I'm done with that. I'm done. <laughs> I just love this. This is no maps. Who needs a map? Zack doesn't need a map. This isn't a mission. This is a straightforward story thing. So anyway, we want to keep going, just, just keep going this way, because it's not where- yeah, we want to head to Mo Modeo Ravine North. Phew. Let's wait a bit. And then hopefully we get a voiced scene here in a second. Hey Zach, uh... Hmm? Um... What's it like to be a soldier? To be soldier. I don't quite get the question. Um... Well, once you join, you'll know what it's like. If I can join, that is. Don't sweat it. If I can do it, you can too. Zach, motiv motiv motivational speaker extraordinaire. Cloud, look. Maybe it's an ether factory. So I can get more ethers, man. You know, all those health nuggets, you, you need to chuck some ethers. And let me tell you, it's good times. I'm glad you're an ether dealer, so you can you can give me my my, my ethers. Hopefully, this can get you some supply. Oh man, they must be guarding that ether because they know it's they know what's up. They know it's got some profit to it. That's a Mako excavation test site. Ah, oh, it's not an ether place. I'm gonna go check it out, cause maybe there are ethers there. Don't care what you say, Song. Our primary objective is to investigate Modeoheim. We can't afford to lose people here. At the same time, we can't ignore the activities of the Genesis Army. Therefore, infiltrate without, with, while avoiding combat. Right? Exactly. There's an entrance at the back of the that warehouse. I hope you guys are ready. Gonna be some fun times ahead. Oh, I skipped that before I could read it. You got it. I'll prove that soldier isn't all about muscle and brawn. You watch carefully too, Cloud. Uh-huh. In this blizzard, we're going to have to watch... You're going to have to watch your body temperature. If you stay still for too long, your temperature will, will increase lap rapidly. To get your body temperature back up, do your usual thing. You, my usual thing, huh? Yeah, I get it. Squats. That's the usual thing. Anyway, let's head down. Activating combat mode. And get into an annoying battle. I'll just leave this in. Some Genesis guys. Oh, hey, there was a third guy. You you hold this health anaga for me, please. Anyway, there's a save point down here. So I actually want to use this save point. The one time I will use a save point in the middle of a part. So, so we gotta save over this one. 
because this next part, I don't want to mess up much. There's a whole bunch. Basically, what we're going to do now is Metal Gear Zack. And there isn't a whole lot of stuff to do. Or th there's some items. I actually don't know all these because I'm not very good at this, to be quite honest. However, there is one. One chest that I particularly want to grab. But that's the only one. So anyway, let's let's head over here. So let's confirm tactics and infiltrate. So we'll give you we'll get the little rundown of what we're doing here. Basically it's the stealth section. We're doing some metal gear in here. You know, we gotta metal gear it up. Ugh. Why can't I have a cardboard box for this? You're about to infiltrate an enemy facility. You must try to avoid being detected by the enemy during infiltration. Press X to perform a squat. Press X with the right timing to perform consecutive squats. Press and hold down square to crouch. There are areas where you can avoid enemies detection by crouching behind large objects. Stand still in one place too long will, the, will cause your body temperature to decrease. When your body temperature drops to 26 degrees Celsius, you will become numb and unable to move. You can raise your body temperature by performing squats. If enemies detect you, they will begin pursuit. If the enemy catches you, it will initiate combat. Enemies will not pursue you outside of the, the facility, so run outside if you feel you're in danger. Shooter supply containers can be found all around the facility. Every time you, you go numb, you go numb, are caught by the enemy, or run out of the facility, the enemy claims one of the containers. If you have the opportunity, try to rev retrieve these containers as well. Treasure chest. That's, that's basically what that last part was. Anyway, okay, I want to keep keep my eyes. Uh, perform squats. Do my squats. Do my squats. Do my squats. Do my squats. Doing my squats, doing my squats. There's some guys doing some squats, doing some squats, doing some squats. Metal gearing it up, metal gearing it up, metal gearing it up. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. And anyway, we we got we got we want to do some good timing with this, because this is, this can be kind of a, annoying for me to time. Usually I have to wait over here for a while. Anyway, let's keep an eye on these guys. Although I think how this is gonna work out, they're gonna, they're gonna, yeah, cause that guy's coming back. There's a guy back there. This is, ah, uh, this always gets me. Okay, so that guy's heading back there. There should be a guy coming back from his direction now. Soon, yeah, there, there goes that guy. Basically, we want a time. I want a time to go that direction, straight where that guy's headed. I'll try and go back there, but I have to do it at the right timing. Do a few squats, do a few squats, do a few squats, do a few squats, okay. The other annoying part in here is sometimes when you're, if you're not close enough to a chest, you'll do squats by accident, and that kind of, kind of gets annoying. So that guy's heading up there. That guy's heading back this way, okay, so that's, it's a no-go for now. Do a few squats. Okay, that guy's coming back. This way. And that guy's coming back this way. I think our timing's almost ready. I think we're almost getting to the point. Yeah, this is, this is a lot of waiting here, honestly. But they they cover this entrance pretty damn hard. So it gets kind of hard to time. I completely forget what the, the appropriate timing is for this, too. So this guy's heading back this way. That guy's heading there. What is the timing on this? I'm still trying to figure out the pro appropriate timing. Okay, because that guy's going... Okay, this might be when we start getting it. Because that guy's there. That guy's there. Okay. This might be almost about time to go. Oh, that guy hit that way. That's not what I wanted. Because you get that guy up there. He's heading back. Um, this is me stammering so long in this part. This is, this is going to be the longest part of this part. The Metal Gear section. I don't like it. Okay, this might be. If these two guys go to the left, this might be what I need. Okay. He went to the right. 
think I went that way. What's he doing over there? He's heading back. He's heading there. Okay, this might be the timing. Nope, that guy's over there. Darn it. Um, I'm so bad at this. I'm so This is why I saved. Just so I, I don't want to mess this up too many times. Okay, so those two went up there. Um, if that guy can just go to the left real quick. I think we got it. Come on. Come on, you go that way. I think this is... Go, 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 go. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, good. Made it over here. Quick, Zach, open the chest. And that we get death, okay? That's the chest I want. Now let's keep running. Because we should be clear now. Just go down here, and we're good. Okay, good, good. Whew. Whew. I did it. There's other stuff in there. I don't actually know what it is because I've never gone for it. Or when I have, I've gotten caught, so... It ends up being pointless in the end of me. But, uh... But now we're good. We did we did the Metal Gear stuff. So now we wanna wanna head to the left. There should be a chest somewhere around here after a battle. Okay, let's keep moving on. Is that sure it was left? Huh. There's supposed to be an X potion somewhere. Oh, 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 there's more than this way. Sneaky game. And see right away. Activating combat mode. Okay, let's keep heading down this way then. Aha. Uh -huh. See a chest over there. That might, must be the one I'm shooting for. Because in that we get an X potion. Okay, now we want to head back up. The way we came, and go the other way. Hopefully avoiding battles. I'm surprised I got that Metal Gear section on the first try. I don't think I've ever done that before. But again, yeah, the, at least how I do it first try, you stand there for like the entire time and then like, okay, let's go. <laughs> We've waited 20 minutes. Let's get a move on now. So now we want to head down this side. Because all we got from that was a chest. Oh, this is going to be a hard. Okay, good. We avoided battles. Okay, we want to head this way. Save point here. If you want it. Activating um, combat mode gonna cut. Okay, so let's head into the elevator bef after, since let's, since we were so rudely interrupted before we could get on. What's the meaning of this? You need me, Genesis. Remember that. Oh, hey, it's Genesis. Who's going to stop the degradation? Oh, your your hair is sort of Genesis, sort of graying. The Genova cells. Stop! Cloud. Hey, Cloud. Good job. How'd you get past that Metal Gear section? But nobody knows where the Genova cells are being kept. Not even Hojo knows. You'll never find it. Then I shall willingly accept my fate. But I'll take the world with me. <laughs> Cloud, go! We'll, we'll handle this. And we're just doing some sword swipes. You gotta catch that sword. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. 
Oh, nice wing you got there, Genesis. And we get, you know, battle time. So I'm gonna wall just for the heck of it. Or not! I didn't even know he had this, or I don't even remember him having this attack. Oh, he curses us. Curses us and takes our MP. Bastard. I want my I want to be uncursed, so I'm just gonna go get my remedy. Okay, uh, and just for that, I'm gonna poison you, man. Guaranteed poison. Okay, let's health undog you now. Oh, miss. Help Pyroga? Nope, not working. Okay. I'm doing pretty bad at this fight. I don't remember much about it. Let's just sword swipe after poisoning him. He's doing this again. You're just... You're just trying to be as annoying as possible, aren't you? Aren't you today, Genesis? It's, it's, this is like the worst I've ever done on, on this fight. There you go. Oh, magic defense, that might be what makes him immune to health on Nagas. Either way, he's not that hard. <laughs> that was just bad. Half a shattered soul. Pride is lost. Wings stripped away. The end is nigh. How, how you feeling, Genesis? Such is the fate of a monster. We're not monsters, you hear me? We're a soldier. Where's your honor? <sighs> Even if the morrow is barren of promises, nothing shall forestall my return. <sighs> what are you gonna do, Genesis? What are you gonna do? Don't do anything crazy now. If this world seeks my destruction, it goes with me. Uh, don't, don't, don't do that. Oh wait, you have a wing. Maybe you're not dead. Genesis. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got that one wing. I mean... Very least he can prevent the fall damage. And we have Genesis added to the DMW, okay. What will that entail? We'll probably have to find out next time. And anyway, wait, we're back outside the facility. We didn't find any ethers in there. Much to Zach's disappointment. Song. Hmm. Cloud's gone too. They must have head that way. I guess this is the way to Modeoheim. Yep, but that's what we're gonna do in the next part. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna stop by the save point and end this part here. So this is Mr. Shiny Gyarados signing out guys. Have a good day and goodbye.